people in the town of Hashm al Girba in eastern Sudan came out like one family for the funeral of their school teacher, Ahmed al Khair. He died while being tortured by members of the state security after he took part in anti government demonstrations. He died in custody. Members of security killed him. He was in a very good health when he left home. <laughs> Ahmed's friend, who was also arrested with him, said he saw him while being beaten. He lay on me like this after they knocked him down. He continued to move sideways from pain and say, ah, ah. After a while, he was completely still. The security guy tried to wake him up by tapping his cheeks. I told him this man is dead. He said, let all of you die for your revolution. I uncovered his body and started inspecting his neck because it was swollen. I couldn't tell if it was broken, but the marks of torture were very clear on all of the body. For several days, Sudanese security forces continued to hide the truth, claiming Ahmed had died of an illness. His family were invited to see his body. They were assured that no violations were committed and that he had not been tortured. But that account turned out to be a lie. Officials conducted an autopsy to determine the exact cause of death. The prosecution has found the death of this person to be the result of several wounds inflicted on him. Those responsible should face trial according to the law. But taking the perpetrators to justice may prove difficult. Sudan's security forces usually refused to let their members be tried in civilian courts. And the belated confession has not satisfied Ahmed's family or the protesters. His death has turned into a public cause and a rallying cry for more protest and anger against the government of President Omar al-Bashir. In his hometown, Ahmed's family is still trying to make sense of their loss. Silence dominates the school where he was teaching. His students are unable to get over the shock. A video was made to remember his life. It talks about the value of the school teacher to humanity and denounces Ahmed's death as equivalent to the killing of the future of an entire nation. Muhammad Val, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.